Hello everybody, my name is Kevin Moore. Welcome back for another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series, guys. Um, on the last video, we did the playoffs. We didn't last too long. I believe we actually got eliminated in the first round or the second round. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think we got eliminated in the second round. So, uh, we managed to get past the first round at, at least. That was that. Uh, anything else from that? I don't really remember what we did. We did the draft pick, obviously, because uh, in the free agents and everything, since we are at the, our sixth year right now, we're getting ready for to do our sixth year. I want to show you really quick, guys. I think we are undefeated in the preseason. I went ahead and simulated the preseason. Yes, I believe. Yeah, we didn't lose a single game in preseason, which is a good thing. It's a good indication for the season itself. Now, obviously, it's not always the same thing uh, per se, but already it's a good thing. You know, it's it's a good uh, thing to, to see. So let's just look at our lineups really quick, just to remind me what we did. So we got Lafreniere still with Mac. Oh, yeah, Mekinen. So we did get Mekinen. Uh, I remember that now. So Mekinen, which was the best player last year, is on our team now. He was, for some reason, a free agent this year. For some reason guys how many years did we get him got him for five years all the way up to 33 years of age of course we're getting this uh being smart about it and we also got kyle connor on our team which is playing on the second line um now he should be playing on the first line guys but the reason why i'm why i'm playing him on the second line is because he's 26 years of age he's got one more year of growth or maybe half a year of growth so I'm not really interested in uh, trying to grow him even further uh, in exchange for Lafreniere, which he is only 22 years of age. He's a first liner too, and he needs to grow, so I need to play him in the first line. Uh, he's going to play with Niemenin and everything, so we got a really good lineup, guys. We got Lume playing with Waters as well, so two big prospects we've got a lot of prospects on our team guys and we also got this guy right here which was ready this year to play so bukestad is playing of course for these two guys defense wise we really have a good defense guys a really good defense so really all i'm opening for right here redden which is our elite goaltender he's our a starter now i'm really just hoping for a good year a really nice year i mean with the team we've had we have in front of us I don't know how we can possibly mess up badly, all right? I think we're, we definitely are already making it to the playoffs. We're a championship team. Um, what remains to be seen is not whether we make it to the playoffs or not. It's whether we make it far into the playoffs this time around. The furthest we uh, got is in, the t are in our third year out of five so far. And that was all the way up to the finals of our conference. And uh, we were almost there for the finals of the cup, but we uh, got eliminated, guys. So I'm hoping to one day make it to the finals of the cup, even win the cup. I mean, we're a championship, a champion team. Champion teams means they can win the cup. They're eligible to win the cup, obviously. So, I mean, if we can't win the cup at this point, I don't know what we're supposed to do. And we do start off the year with um, three wins in a row, uh, four wins in a row. Okay, we lost the fir very first game, but afterwards we lost all. Of, uh, we won all of our game. There we go. That's another win. So five wins in a row. That's what I want to see right there. That's another loss in regulation. I don't know how that the record's gonna like be at the very end of the season, guys. But I'm hoping it's gonna be something really good. I mean, with the team in front of us, nothing can possibly go wrong unless we get some injuries. But I don't think we're gonna get an injury. Uh, I don't think we got an injury last the two previous years because I dropped it to eight instead of nine, and uh, I told you guys previous before that in an, other videos that uh, the difference between nine and eight is big. It's huge. Nine, you get some injuries. Eight, you get no injuries. For some reason, there's a huge gap between those two. There's not a middle one, which is kind of weird. So. Mekinen is at 13 points already, as you can see. This guy, like he's doing 100 points per season. So obviously, it was. I'm expecting big time production out of him. Uh, we're really producing big time. We're 7 2 and 0 after one month, guys. We're going to keep it going, really. We don't want to uh, waste this up. Really, we're doing, we're doing fine. 
we're doing fine. So I, I, there's no need for us to change anything. There's no need to for us to change anything at all. So let's just go right into simulate the second month all the way up already. We're starting off against uh, Buffalo Sabres. Um, really, I'm hoping for a great season. There's a, there's a win uh, to begin with already. So there we go. See, already we're at nine wins, guys. Nine and two are record, which is which is beautiful. It's obviously beautiful. Now we got a lot of games in that particular in the month of November, so it's going to be really important to win as much as possible here because it's a lot of games. It's um, a lot of pos possibilities, right? A lot of points that we cannot afford to lose. So there we go. There's four wins out of five games, guys. That's what I want to see, and uh, we. As you can see, every time we win, which is basically all the time, we only lost three times so far, uh, we give basically two goals per game and we uh, score at least three goals. So we are three goals per game minimum for us every game. Uh, we we did get a loss, like we did sh get shot out by the Jets. But other than that, I mean, we're we're giving... We're not giving two goals and we're scoring a lot of goals, which is making the difference. And I don't know if coming to the playoffs is going to... Um, I'm, I'm going to simulate like I'm doing right now. Just skip the, the game in itself because I want to see what happens in the game. But so far it hasn't helped us. Simulation in-game is not that good actually. The medium simulation, slow simulation is not that good for us so maybe I'm gonna t be tempted to do fast simulation depending on how our record goes for the season I might be tempted to do it guys now there's two wins in regulation in a row now that's not too good and we're coming off to the next month for that so we finished up the month with that so 12 after two months basically our record guys two months and we are 17 5 and 1 which is ridiculously good I mean there's another team that does is as good as us, basically almost. It's a Dallas Stars for some reason. They're really good, guys. This right now, this is this is just crazy. But 27 points in 23 games played for Kucherov. We're gonna go ahead and see a check out on our players really quick. See if anybody grew or anything at all. Let's just check our players or plus minus situation. So first line is doing well. Second line is doing very well. Third line as well. And the fourth line is struggling. Okay, so the fourth line is the one struggling right now. Fourth line is not playing well. I can't change anything since the other lineups are doing well. So I can't do anything about that. Uh, what about Morgan Riley? Everything's going good right here. Yep, all right. These guys kind of have a little bit of tough time, but not too much. It's acceptable. All right, so that's what I want to see, guys. We got a lot of top fours as you can see here, but I can't really do anything about that. I got a lot of top fours, but uh, I need to play in their roles. If uh, these two, I should play them in the top four if I want them to grow, but I can't because I don't have this. I don't have the space. I've got two top twos in here. So I gotta keep them here. I got uh, Darlene with Clef Bomb, you know, and I I don't have anybody else really. I really don't. Rasmus Dahlin is an offensive defenseman. Yeah. I don't have anybody. I got to keep it the way it is. We're doing so well. And Redden with, of course, uh, Philip Grabauer. Redden is doing very well. So is Grabauer. So that's really good for us. Really good for us, guys. And what about the AHL? Nothing so far. I don't think so, at least. Nope. Looks like we're good on that one. I'm going to actually move out like this. Just make sure that my players... Uh, with the most potential actually play more. I want this guy to be playing on the very first line. These two guys are... Okay, so this guy in front of him. And this one, alright. What about next? Nelson is not going to grow anymore. Seven frame for Bennett. Okay, okay. so this guy needs to play all the way there. And just like that, alright. That's where my, my lineups are going to look like. And what about these guys? Uh, that's an elite defenseman. Um, the the top six that's another low elite so a couple of low elites I want to I'm gonna put this guy right here there we go so they can play better like they can play as much as they can uh, get some growth in here there we go I think we're good 
I think we're good guys so just gonna continue the simulation uh, really quick uh, I wanna see as well while we're at it it's two months right now so I wanna see really quick how our team is doing with st uh, stats wise all right because we're doing really good I wanna see where we are so we're basically the second best team in goals per game we are the uh, where are we for the goals against uh, that's really good. We're the second best team for goals against as well. So that's really good. We're not giving goals. We're not t We are scoring a lot of goals too. So that's really good. We've got a good power play and we've got a good penalty. Actually, no, our penalty kill could be way better. It could be definitely better. It's, it's a good one. It's just uh, for our division itself. It could be a little bit better. All right. Well, We'll keep it, we're not changing anything since we're doing so good, but if we start trailing off or something, I might be tempted to look at the stats again and see what I can really change, alright? That's always what I do, so let's just simulate the um, third month right here. I'm going to take a sip of water right here. I need to, I need to drink a little bit. Alright, so we start off the month with two wins in a row. Can we get um, a third win? There we go, there's a third win in a row. So back in the winning streak... Uh, uh, genre now as you can see we're not doing we were not doing so good in the AHL department but now that I actually switch my players my prospect players to play uh, the most <laughs> it's actually working out for us which is really good I figured out uh, while playing other franchise modes uh, recently that that's uh, that's how you want to grow your your the fastest your players basically and the miners is by playing them uh, as uh, the most upwards possible, like playing them the most possible uh, times. Uh, they're gonna grow faster by doing that, by doing so. So that's what I'm doing basically. The ones that you want, don't want to play those, absolutely obviously the ones that are not in 70s. So you you always want to get someone that is at least in the 70 overall if he's in the 70 then you definitely want to sign him if he's an elite or something you definitely automatically want to sign him if he's not in the 70s i don't know if you want to really want to sign him because he's not gonna grow into anything really uh, when your contract is up or something you know so another really good month for us we're now at 28 6 and 2 let me see really quick we're coming off with a uh, two win uh, two game winning streak for the fourth month so fourth month is going to be really good for us uh, i want to see really quick our stats after uh, three months so three months of simulation guys 41 points for kucherov 30 in 36 game played are we still the best team obviously yeah we are the best team for sure i mean if we are the best team we're doing these stats guys i'm not too scared about the playoffs to be honest the playoffs should be good enough. I want to see if I can't change a single knockout thing. I don't think I can yet at this point. I think it's too late for that. Um, third period and everything. Penalties. I don't want people to take too much penalties. Just take it to two, I guess, for now. Uh, minor injuries and everything. Okay, I think we're good on that. Yes, I think we are good. So what I want right now is actually... Can I change? I, I don't think I can change it, guys. Once you take, uh, once you choose to have a single knockout for the playoffs, you get the single knockout. I don't think you can change it, which is a shame, uh, really. It's a really big time shame. So, 16 uh, contract ending soon. All right, we're good. So, nothing to change, really. I'm going to keep it going, guys. It's only 36 games, so I know nobody's going to be really ready for our team. Let's just go uh, simulate the fourth month in itself see how it goes now i'm not focusing anymore it's not like the other previous uh scouts uh, why it's it's way quicker it makes it way quicker if i don't uh, take care of the scouts guys and the scouts i trust them to do a good job if you get uh, a good amount of scouts guys they're gonna have do the same job as if you were micromanaging now i am micromanaging in my own free time when i play my own franchise modes because i want to make sure to know who's who but in that situation it's a it's a let's play i want to make it this quick now we are not 
In the fourth month, it looks like it's not going to be that. Uh, we're having a tough time, basically. It's three and three right now because we had three losses in four games in regulation. We're coming back up. I mean, it's three and three. It's a 50, basically 50 50 situation. And now we're coming back up. I'm pretty certain we're going to go back up big time with a couple of wins there. I know my team at this point. Oh my God. It's a still a 50 50. It's 4 4. 4 5 even. Hmm. That's very interesting. So now we're struggling. So that means. Usually when you struggle, that means there's a player in the league itself that's probably ready to play. That's probably what's high, uh, what's happening right now. It's probably ready to play higher than the actual position. He grew something. Oh, definitely that's what happened, guys. Because like four losses in a row right there. Yeah, all right. Somebody in our team is ready to play, guys. That's obviously what's going on here. Because uh, we had a bad, a bad simulation for the fourth month. Which is not, it's not uh, normal. It's absolutely not normal after the three for previous months that we had. Yeah, bad simulation for the fourth month. Which uh, we're dropping the ball now. Yeah, we're, we're dropping the ball. The Dallas Stars passed us in the points. We get, we want the President's Trophy. We want it. We I know we can get it. So not good at all, as you can see. Uh, still producing my players, but something is happening. So one uh, one of our plays is definitely better or something. Something's going on right here. No, nobody really. Nobody grew. So I don't know what's the problem here. Let me see my lineups. These guys are like absolutely beautiful together. They're just playing. They're just contemplating each other very well. It's just beautiful. Now Kyle Connor. Yeah, okay, the the second line now is struggling. Why? Why is the state? Why is the second line struggling so much? That's because Cal Connor actually became a first liner, an exact elite now. But why are they struggling so much? Is it the two way forwards? Both the two way forwards and everything? Now these guys, yeah, they're not doing so well. Not doing so well. That's not good at all. I gotta keep Cal Connor there. I don't have a choice and I gotta keep him there anyways. And Yemen and I gotta keep him here. And same thing for Waters. So these guys, I can't move them up, all right? Any of these guys, I can't move them up. They gotta stick where they are. Um, so this, I can change the centermans. I can do. I can do that. Uh, so all three lineups right here. It's only the first lineup that's actually doing well, which means, in my opinion, that we gotta switch something out. So a two-way forward right here. Uh, we might need a playmaker actually because this is a sniper. No, actually that's a playmaker. So. We are needing, we're in need of a sniper right here. Our power forward could help out the situation probably. So let's just try out Bukestad right here. Um, right here is a sniper playmaker, two way forward. This should work out. This should be a good lineup. Playmaker, two way forward, two way forward as well. So instead of power forward, uh, right. Um, we might switch that up. Uh, I'm going to keep Rask, is it? Actually, it's hurting my two players. So I want to switch things up, all right? Bukestad, Kyle Connor, and everything. All these guys up. The centermans are switching positions. That's all I can do for now. And um, what about these guys? It's just a bad time for all of them, really. These guys are playing very well together, though. These two guys. Yeah. All right. These two guys are playing very well together. Um, I guess Darlene is not playing that well. My God, I don't, I really don't know what to do, guys. This is a two-way forward. This is another two-way forward right here. Let's just try some things out, all right? Just try some things out. So, he's a minus six. I want to try Dali, obviously, in the first lineup. Uh, I got to keep him right here at least. Now, these guys, I can move up one of these two guys. I'm going to try to move up the one that plays the, the best. All right, I want to move up the one that plays the best. So let's move up uh, Yekes, uh, Yekemovs the, um, and uh, try him out in the uh, upcoming t top four. So Riley with Yekemovs, all these guys. All right, let's just try that out like it is. I guess Redden, he didn't grow. He's still playing. He's playing even better than he was playing. So the problem is or not the goaltenders, guys. I don't know what the problem is right now. Okay, we're good. Yes, I think we're good in that department as well for the the players itself. I think 
Everything's good. The defenseman, this defenseman is almost ready to play for us, guys. Almost is. And nothing else really. So I think that's it. Now, since we had a bad month as well, I want to go look. I changed the lineups, but I want to go look at our stats just to see where we are. We are second everywhere. That's where we were last time when I checked up. So let's just see where we are. Still second. Okay. Um third so we are starting to give a little bit more goals but it's not the end of the world we're still second in power play and where are we did we oh we moved up in penalty kill so we're playing much better in penalty kill which means it's the most mostly the uh, the lineups that were not doing so good the lineups were having a tough time guys let's see if, if after that lineup change we it's going to do anything it's going to change anything or it's going to help us out I don't know. All right. If it doesn't help us out, uh, that's kind of a shame because we are we're going tri definitely for the president's trophy right there. Um, so I'd say with our the win the record we already have, we're already making to the playoffs. Like already we're in the playoffs. That's guaranteed, guys, this year. But uh, I wanted to try my luck into uh, for the president's trophy. That's what I want. So so far so good. Two wins, one loss. All right, I want to keep this going, guys. I want to get a winning streak so that we can um, we can get uh, keep this going, really. Like uh, there we go. There's a uh, two wins in a row. I want a, a, a winning streak so that we can keep this going. Show me that the these it was only the lineups that were not so doing so well suited to each other. They play better probably with the different players. I put them two together now. The, really, the only difference I could have done is the the centermans and. I just switch a couple of players here and there. I just switch the sentiments, position all of them, and look at this. We got a bad, uh, a good record once again. So right now we, it looks like we're five and two. I want to see: uh, do we win against Montreal Canadiens? Yes, we do get a shout out even, even so. Four, uh, six and two basically so far. That's seven and two now. Two wins in a row. I really like this. So. As you can see, we're doing good, guys. We're back on top, back on the, the race for the actual um, President's Trophy. Now, we got a big time loss right there. We dropped the ball against uh, Tampa Bay uh, Lightning, 8-1. to one. I'm hoping that we can really get a chance right here. That's two losses in a row. I don't want to see that, guys. Don't want to see that. Let's go. You guys are a champion team. I want to see all of you produce like a champion team. All of you having uh, ga winning streaks. I don't want to see losing streaks. Okay, it's okay to have a win, a loss once, uh, once or twice, but um, not, uh, not in a row. All right, I don't want to go and have losing streaks. I don't like those. So, really good for a fifth month. I believe that was the fifth month or something. So, really good one. So, let's see what we got. Is there's only two one month. Uh, that's basically the last entire month we got for the se for the season itself, and afterwards we got the playoffs. Uh, afterwards we got a little bit of games remaining, like four or five games in the ap in April, and then we, it's the playoffs. So where are we? Yeah, we dropped the ball big time, so much that uh, we're struggling against the Dallas Stars. The Dallas Stars, what makes a difference for them is that they got way more wins, uh, way more losses in overtime than us. We got uh, one win more than them. It's the same amount of po uh, games per game too. So I don't know if we're going to be able to beat the Dallas Stars guys. They're kind of rough on us right now. Let's continue the simulation. Go all the way up to uh, the last four or five games of the season. See how we're going to go for the last full month of simulation. I'm, f I'm hoping for a good one guys. There's a win right there. That's what I want to see. I want to see as many wins as possible, guys. If you lose, lose in shootout or overtime like you did against the Arizona Coyotes. I want the most points possible. I want wins. I even want to get the 50 wins. It is, it's possible for us to get the 50 wins. So let's try to get it. Now, two goals and two losses in regulation like that. That's something I want. I absolutely do not want to see. All right. I don't want to see that at all. Let's, so let's go, guys. Three Four losses in regulation in a row. There we go. We're dropping the ball at the very end. Why don't we just lose every goddamn last game there? Right? Five losses in regulation in a row. Now we get two wins. There's another loss, but in overtime. So that's a point. There's a win right there. So 
I don't know what to think about that month, guys. I was not too good. I was not too good. It's a uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight wins. That's uh, uh one. Uh, that's five losses. So eight, five, and two. Eight, uh, five, and two for uh, this the month of March, guys. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. It's actually pretty good. But uh, not on par with uh, the kind of stats we wanted. There we go. Five, four and five and one after the last ten games. That's not good for us. Um, I'm pretty sure we dropped the ball right there. Actually, not so much. The Dallas Stars are having a difficult time too. We are one game, one win away from the 50, which we are definitely going to get. I, unless we really drop the ball, guys. I hope not. We're definitely going to get it. So let's just simulate the rest of the season. Hopefully we're gonna get the 50 uh, the 50 uh, wins and we're gonna get the president's trophy. That's two losses in regulation in a row guys. There we go. There's the 50 wins guys. There we go. 51 wins. Can we get another win? There we go. We end up with a three game winning streak to end the season. We end up the season with 52, 3, 23 and 7. 52 wins guys. That's what I want to see and a really good record overall for aces. Which are 41 wins. I'm happy about that as well. And we're gonna. Looks like we're gonna start the playoffs against the uh, the Canucks, guys. The Canucks. All right. I don't know if we're gonna win against if these guys. Are coming off? Oh, we're definitely better than them. If we don't beat these guys, guys, I don't know what's going on. All right, we must beat these guys. They're we're absolutely. We should dominate them. All right, they're not. They should not be a trouble to us at all. So let's just go look at our stats for the season. Uh, what our players did. Beautiful season for us. I was expecting that we're a champion team with the players we've got in front of them. I mean, uh, in front of us, it's just normal for us to produce like that. So, Mekinen with 42 win uh, goals, our best scorer. So Kucherov, kind of a disappointing year for him to uh, yeah it's definitely a disappointing year i thought it would do better they were definitely doing great at the beginning they stopped they stopped producing a little bit towards the middle so that's not uh, that didn't help uh, them a little bit so that's pretty much that um our best player mckinnon of course making in with uh, 86 uh, 86 points obviously it's not like last year with 102 points but if it can produce uh, get more points than going against for me that's a, that's a win-win situation. Kucherov was almost there, but disappointing. Disappointing, I'd, I'd say it's a, it's a disappointing year for him. Uh, Lafreniere, really good year for him since he's 88 overall. He's not a 90. So in this, he's a first liner, so 60 points. I'm happy about that. Nimenen is a, a second liner, so I want 40 points out of him. He got the 40 points, guys. I'm really happy. Um, Victor Rask. Did he get? He's a second line. Got the 30, 40 points. I'm really happy. Cal Connor. Now he's a first liner. Cal Connor is a first line. He played on the second line. Even though he only played on the second line, he should have produced a little bit more. So Cal Connor definitely um, is getting hurt by all of this. So Cal Connor is not doing so good. Uh, Bukestad. All right. Bukestad is a third liner. Uh. Not good season at all for him either. What about him? Not, uh, it's actually, no, not good season for Lume. Waters as well. Third line was not doing good at all. All right, well, it is what it is, guys. Defense wise, defense, Klinberg was doing really good. Did really good for us. Riley, uh, he did all right. He did all right, but I was expecting a little bit more as a top two. Um, I don't know guys, top two, I'm not sure what to think about that. Uh, Darlene, 19 points only. See, Darlene is really not, the game doesn't like Darlene at all. It's just the NHL itself that doesn't like Darlene because he doesn't produce. Like he should be the type of player to produce the most out of all the defensemen. He doesn't produce at all. He's just a bust basically. Uh, you could say he's a bust. So that's a shame really. Um, let's just see what we got. So our goaltender. Let me see. 40 wins for J Jack Redden in his first ever official career. Like first season. Official season as a starter. 
So really good for him. 40 wins. Uh, good record. A uh, normal record for him. So I'm really happy about all of that. Let me just see uh, before we check, look, take a look at the goaltenders. I want to look at the Fords. Fords uh, first. So best scorer of the league. 48 win uh, goals. It's Tarasenko. Tarasenko was the best scorer of the league, guys. McKinnon, our best scorer, was all the way there. Best player of the league is Julius Stasiak. Once again, he's back at it, guys. Back at it again. The franchise player. All right, he's in there. Uh, McDavid, of course, Tavares. McKinnon is fourth overall, so that's really good for us. Kucherov is not that far. He's tenth overall, guys. So at least there's that. We also got the defenseman-wise. Best defenseman was both Ekman Larson, Dowdy, and Carlson. So all three of them are 66 points. Carlson and everything. We don't have a top 10 uh, defenseman. It's a shame. And goaltender-wise, we do have the third best goaltender uh, in wins. But uh, Nedel, Nedel Jovic, I don't know how to say his name. 44 wins for some reason guys sorry starters go starting gold and for some reason sometimes Just have that rookie starters. Who was the best rookie this year? It was uh, Dallas Blue Juice. Uh Elite medium elite second liner got 60 points guys Kulikov wait. Oh my god. They've got two big-time prospects. Yes, actually they've got Kulikov which It's a really good player. So top medium top six as well. I was producing there. All right there's a team guys there's the team I actually want to make the playoffs in this one I actually want to uh, simulate the playoffs in this one so let's do this guys let's hope that uh, we can actually win we have to win against the Vancouver Canucks if if we don't win against the Vancouver Canucks I don't know what to say I think he is just bullshitting me at this point because I mean look at our record in the season versus their record they're not a good team at all they should not be able to to uh, beat us at all. Let's just look at our lineups even. So this is what our lineups look like. Yeah, obviously we're much better than them. I mean, look at this. They've got Birchie, Orvat, and Bowser. It's a good first liner. Our first liner is way better. Our first liner is a real one. We got a better second liner than them for sure. They've got Elias Pettersson as a second liner. They still haven't grown them. He's at 25 years of age. He didn't play him the right way, guys. He didn't manage to grow him the right way. He's a bust. Another bust right there. Just like Darlene. Uh, Watson. Uh, this guy is a, third, a good third line. But um, not good enough. Fourth line is kind of trash. We got a much better team in front of them. In the offensive wise. I think they actually have a better defensive team than us though. They've got better defensemen somehow. And it's all a bunch of defensemen that can still grow. Which is ridiculous. Okay, they've got definitely a better defense than us. And goaltender wise, they've got a better goaltender right now than ours. Better goaltender, better defense. So look out to for us to having a tough time scoring. But uh, we also have a better offense than them. So I don't know guys, I don't know how that's going to go. This might be a tough one actually. Let's just see how it's going to go. I really want to make it far. Let's go. We're a championship team guys. We got to do this. First period. Oh my god. How is Derek Pouillot scoring on Jack Jack Redden? My god. How is he scoring? Like honestly. Let me just simulate with the uh, times 8 guys. I don't want. This is the playoffs. Not messing around. I am not messing around right here. Let's go. There's, there's a goddamn. Come on guys. That was a power play for us. Oh my fucking Otten! These goddamn garbage players scoring on us. Like honestly, we're in championship team. I'm gonna cheat, guys. I'm I swear I am gonna cheat. I'm definitely gonna cheat. I'm gonna go into the game. I'm gonna score myself if I need to do it. I am not losing this this goddamn BS game. It's preventing me from going any further than the first round. I know it's single knockout, but it's bullshit. It's the Vancouver Canucks. They have a bullshit record. All right. They shouldn't be able to beat us at all. We are. We should be able to dominate them. We've got a much better team in front of them. I don't care about our goddamn defense. We have the offense. Let's go. Where's the offense? Kyle Connor, Kucherov, 
fucking Lafreniere, anyone, Mekinen, where are you? Any of you, you fucking bullshitters. Oh, I'm sco no, I'm I'm going in, guys. I'm cheating. Oh well, fuck this. All right, guys. So I gave myself a two-game advantage. I skipped the game. So I basically scored five goals in a row right there. All right. I said, fuck it. I'm done. I'm cheating the system. I wanted I wanted to cheat at the very beginning of the of the series. And anyways, I might as well cheat in the playoffs because the game's not gonna give it to me if I don't. Like I'm I'm not gonna cheat if I'm a contender team. Like that was normal last year and everything. I was on a contender team, normal team for the playoffs. But I'm a goddamn champion team. I should champion means I should be in the goddamn finals of the cup. So I'm cheating all the way, guys. I'm just cheating. I know you might some of you might be pissed at that or, or whatever. But I'm just just do it yourself, man. I, I'm doing it. Just do it yourself. I don't care. That's how you gotta do it. I, we were losing three to nothing against a team that's basically garbage in uh, 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 like compared to us was a garbage team we cannot like i couldn't especially the worst thing is that we weren't scoring we didn't score anything any goal at all against a goddamn team that once again was absolute garbage compared to us now we gotta go see what the record of the dallas stars are dallas stars which is the best the second best team ag uh, uh, against us now I wouldn't be mad against losing against them. They're actually a good team. There we go. That's actually a good team right there, guys. That's not a garbage team that we have to, that we should like that uh the that we should win against, all right? That's a normal team that um they actually have a, a bad record right now, but now I would be happy. I would be normal fine with losing against them. I'm not. I'm just not fine with losing against the Vancouver Canucks because that was just not normal. That's not. That's not a thing. Like, obviously, did you see their record? Did you see the players they had in their team? That's just ridiculous. So, let's look at the lineups really quick of the Dallas Stars. If they don't have a good lineup, um, I'm gonna say fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that we win. But if they don't have a, if they have a good lineup. Actually, they got a really good first line. Just like ours, all right, uh, equal basically. I think it might be better than ours. It's a better second line than ours. The third line, we've got a better third line and we've got a better fourth line. So it's kind of, so one, two for us, one, two. Okay, so it's basically two to one for us in our offensive. We're, we're still better than them offensively. Uh, Lindell. Um, I think we got a better defense, definitely. So, better defense, better offense. We should be winning this game, guys. And goaltender, yeah, we should be wrecking these fools. All right? That's what it is, guys. There, there it is right there. We should be wrecking these fools. Now, playoff time. Let's see what it is, all right? How these guys are going to produce and everything. I want the best with the best. So let's just make the pick the best with the best guys and see how everybody goes together. Bukestad, I want to play it, uh, play you with uh, this uh, this guy right here, and uh, let's just see how it goes. Really, all right, you guys need to play better together. You absolutely need to play better, all of you. All right, produce. I know you can do it. These guys played well. These guys too. These guys had a little bit of time, but. I want all of you to have a great time in there, all right? All of you have to f uh, to have a fun time, uh, like just basically produce for me, all right? Now, Jack, Jack Redden as well. I'm telling you, buddy, you're my future goaltender. You're my goaltender right now. You got to do the job, all right? It's the Dallas Stars. This is a big game. It's a big game. We could go back to the finals if we beat them. It's not a necessity, but we got to do it. All right. So times eight. I All I want to see, we're out shooting them big time. That's that's a, that's what I want to see. Out shooting them. I want to see us scoring. Tyler Sagan, it's okay. He scored. Kyle, Kyle Connor scored back. You answered back. That's what I want to see. I want to see our team actually produce like they should be. All right. It, it wouldn't be... It's normal. It would be normal to lose against these guys if it's a second first liner for them that's actually doing the job. All right, they've got a really good first line and equal to ours, a better second line. 
but depth depth wise we've got a better depth team than them offensively we got a way better defense than them we're better goaltenders we've got everything better than them so we should be able to beat these guys up let's go it's an even game so far as you can see in the shots wise and for goal and the rise now let's go i don't want penalties like that yes there we go power play that's our chance right there we should take these inches and score on these guys if it's a power play for us we should score guys i think we're gonna have to st jump into the game guys and watch it i think we're gonna have to do that let's go jump into the game and actually i'm not gonna play for uh, for my team this time all right i only played for the Canucks because i we couldn't lose that was not a possible a possibility but i am okay with losing against the dallas stars it's an overtime game so anything can happen let's jump into it hope that the uh, the ai is going to play good for us and make us win this game so we can move on even further here we go guys let's do this let's do this shit. hopefully we can win there's mckinnon the lafreniere mckinnon and kucherov our our uh, goddamn first trio so Hopefully this first line can be the, doing the job, guys. We, we absolutely got to do it. Oh my God! Watch out for their first line, though. Stasiak. These are gonna be dangerous. It's kind of the second line, the, the same line right here, right? They're brave. They're basically even. Redden so far doing a good, a good job. He stopped right in dead in his track Sagan. God damn, that was dangerous, guys. We gotta prevent them from doing the shots like that. Let's go, guys. Let's see if we can win this one. We actually got uh, uh, we actually tie up in uh, tied up in the uh, face offs. It's a even in a really even game. Our team is not doing good against the first line though. Our first line is dominating ours. So let's go. Klinberg's gonna uh, dump it or go with it basically. Move it up. Klinberg's gonna move all the way up and just shoot it. All right. It's just he's just saying fuck it. I, I'm gonna test Newvert on this one. I don't know why he would do that. This is an 80 overall goaltender. It's still Nuvert and still a veteran goaltender. It's not gonna drop the ball like that, especially not in the playoffs. All right, guys. I don't know what makes it so different from the playoffs to the season itself. Like honestly, why are we so bad in the playoffs compared to the season? Like it's ridiculous. It's the simulation. Obviously, we don't. We're not doing the same type of simulation. A single lockout. I thought it was gonna be good for us or something. I thought it was be. A, gonna be a good choice i think the single knockout for the the game that guys is not a good choice at all i think it's not uh the right choice i made i should have just basically st stick to what i knew and the regular the regular thing with seven games basically that you can play maximum or maybe the secure best out of three would have been better i don't i don't know like you get a, another chance to win at least you know it would have been better for us because Looks like we can never win the first game for some reason. So, and that uh, since it's a single knockout, it's bad for us. So let's see what how we do. Let's go, guys! I believe in you, Anka. Oh my God! Almost scored right there. You cannot let these guys go right there. A Redden is doing the job right now. He's stopping these guys up right at, dead in our track. But uh, we got to do much better than this. Come on, guys! Don't let them shoot like that. Our defense is not really good right now. Not playing good at all. We just let them, sh we're just letting them shoot on us. Let's go. I believe in you guys. Let's go. We got this. That's our second line right there with Victor Rask. I put him up. If uh, let's see if it's gonna pay off. Nope. All right. I put him up in the second line. We lose a goddamn game. We get eliminated. Oh my fuck. Fuck this game, guys. I'm done with this series. All right. I tried my best. I had look at all these players I managed to get in my team. These goddamn it's championship team. This is just like the Pittsburgh Penguins when when they were in their the prime, basically two years ago. They were in their prime, two wins in a row, two cups in a row. That should be us, right now. Instead, we're getting eliminated and the goddamn. It's it's not normal. It's just not normal. It's a bullshit game. I'm tired of it. I'm not doing any se any other series on it. All right. This. I'm just playing on my own free time. Fuck this. Just subscribe and like 
guys just to help me out comment as well what did you think about this series in itself i know i did pretty much a garbage series because uh, i'm a pretty much a garbage gm you can say it all right i'm a terrible gm i cannot make my play any of my teams to the make it to all the way to the finals even win it all right i cannot do it for some reason it's just i'm just a garbage gm keep it easy guys